All right, folks, so on today's podcast, what I want to talk about was these police shootings here in Chicago, right? It seems like, uh, okay, first of all, the background, we had a police shot just today, a North Center, 74, a retired lieutenant, and last week we had Enrique Martinez was shot and killed, and uh, people seem to want to blame everybody except the criminals, right? The criminals are the ones who cause these things, and they're the one, there's where the blame belongs, and that's where the buck stops, right? But somehow it's somebody else's fault, right? Um, you know, it's Kim Fox's fault for this uh, pre-trial release that the defendant who shot and killed the police officer um, was out on, but the problem was the pre-trial release was granted by a prosecutor in Will County. It's literally like two counties over from Chicago, folks, so it wasn't Kim Fox's fault, but yet somehow it was Kim Fox's fault because if that's what you're predetermined to believe, that it's Kim Fox's fault because of all the news and all the information you get from the media telling you about all these pre-trial releases and blaming Kim Fox for everything under the sun, then naturally you're going to lead to uh, conclusions and hasty generalizations and fallacy of logic. Then they're going to go ahead and you're going to blame her, even though it was from Will County when the guy was released. So if you want to blame a prosecutor, go ahead and blame the one from Will County, right? Not Cook County. And the same thing with the mayor. Same thing goes with the mayor. I mean, you know, uh, 1999, Daniel J. Dauphin was shot and killed. And I was 12 years old living here in Chicago. And they renamed a post office after him. Sort over there on Kedzie, a little bit south of Irving Park, and I went there. I went to that post office over 20 years while I was still living in that neck of the woods over there in Chicago. And um, you know, nobody was blaming uh, Mayor Daly for his death. Not one single person was blaming Mayor Daly for Officer Dauphin being shot and killed, and not one single person was blaming Mayor Daly before he was a mayor. It was previously he was the uh, prosecutor in Cook County. No one blamed him for anything. It's just the way it is. You know, you're a prosecutor, you're a mayor. Bad things happen. The good people sometimes, you know, criminals get guns and they shoot police officers and, you know, that that's kind of the way it is and nobody ever thought to go ahead and have that blame game. But that seems to be a, kind of a new phenomenon since we've kind of had the internet and a lot of social media and everything where everyone's getting blamed for everything else. Like I said, Kim Fox, the totally, you know, she's a Cook County prosecutor, not Will County. So it's got nothing to do with the person being on pretrial release. And Brandon Johnson had nothing to do with this guy. He didn't go ahead and give him a gun. He didn't say it was okay to shoot a police officer. It wasn't like, oh, well, you know, we think Brandon Johnson coddles criminals and he hates police officers. So somehow this guy felt emboldened to go ahead and do what he does. Like if Johnson wasn't mayor, he wouldn't have done it. I mean, like I said, back, it was all the way back to 99, going back way before that, police officers have been getting shot and getting injured and police officers have been doing it the other way around too. You know, we had uh, look look at the Laquan McDonald case, right? Mayor Rahm Emanuel, you know, he covered it up. He covered it up long enough so he could get reelected, and he was also helping Obama there too because he wasn't putting any bad press on him. You know, you know, Emanuel went ahead and went ahead and be a, you know Obama's chief of staff and all that stuff. So you know, it it goes both ways, folks. It just happens to do with who you have a predisposition for going ahead and blaming for things. Okay, if you don't like uh, Kim Fox for whatever reason reasons whether they be political, um, socioeconomic, racial, same thing with Brandon Johnson, you know, you're going to find a way to have excuses and to blame those people. So, like I said, you know, go looking back in the history of who's been shot and police officers, and especially look up, look up 1999, Daniel J. Doff, and I was here in Chicago, 12 years old, and he got shot. Nobody blamed Mayor Daly, nobody blamed the prosecutor, but here they want, or nowadays everybody wants to blame everybody for everything because that's what they're heard on the news and that's what they're told. They're told, oh, Kim Fox is releasing criminals, so therefore this criminal committed a crime in Cook County, therefore it's her fault. No, it didn't happen that way. He was released from Will County. She had nothing to do with it. And the same thing with the mayor. Oh, well, the mayor hates cops and therefore this guy was shot and killed, so therefore it's the mayor's fault. No, no, that's not, that's not how it works. It, the mayors don't control, you know, every single aspect of it town that's as big as Chicago. This town is a city. It's a metropolis. It's huge. You know, over, you know, close to 3 million people live here. And then every day that people come here from everywhere else, you probably have somewhere in neighborhood of 4 million people here during the work days and stuff. So, you know, it, it, it can't all be controlled and no mayor's omniscient goes ahead and goes and controls everything now any more than they ever did before. You know, you know, Rahm Emanuel did cover up the Laquan McDonald shooting, but he didn't control it. He didn't make it happen. The same thing when Officer Dauphin was killed in 99. Mayor Daley, uh, he, he didn't control it. He didn't say, yeah, that's okay, go ahead and shoot that police officer. He didn't give the criminal the gun, nothing nothing like that. But nobody was blaming anybody back then, but now all of a sudden it has. So, you know, go ahead and, and I wonder what the, what the real reason is. I think I know the real reason. I think it has to do with the racial makeup of the people who are in charge. Both Kim Fox and, and um, Brandon Johnson are black African-Americans, you know, and I hosted their New Year's Eve party. And I actually did meet Kim Fox. I didn't meet Johnson. He was in a different room. I didn't see him, but I know he was there. And you know, I just I just think that uh, people use that use whatever story they want, whatever you know, pre to prejudices they have to go ahead and justify whatever preconceived notions they have about who's what's fault. But you got to be lo think logically, people. Okay, if you're going to blame the previous mayor and the previous state's attorney 
uh, you know, just like you're going to bring the current one, right? So, you know, if you didn't blame Mayor Daley when he was mayor and prior to that when he was a state's attorney, then how can you blame the current ones? Again, when Kim Fox is the state's attorney here in Cook County and the guy was out on pretrial release from Will County, one's got nothing to do with the other. So that's that argument is gone. And Brandon Johnson, same thing. You know, he, he you know, you could say what you want about his policies. And, and I think that Spot Schroeder should be brought back. And uh, I think that you know, he lost his he lost his, his uh, you know, possibility of getting that three hundred million dollar property tax increase. So uh, you know, say what you want about his mayor and leadership styles and whatever he has, but you know, he didn't he didn't put the gun in that criminal's hand, and he didn't condone that cop. He didn't want that cop to get shot, and uh, any more than 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 Mayor Daley, you know, wanted Officer Dauphin to be shot back in nineteen ninety nine. So before you guys go ahead and start rushing to judgments and hasty generalizations and jumping to conclusions and going on the bandwagon, I'll just try to think about what's actually happening, and actually try to get the county right that you're living in too.